Kick up. Kick is on the way. Kick is good! Kick is good! And the Pats will become the first team in NFL history to win 19 consecutive games. 20 in a row for the Patriots. Five in a row this season. It's a tremendous ovation as they make the New York Jets their 21st consecutive victim. A new National Football League record and one that could be a long time in being broken. Of course, we heard about the 21-game win streak because of the media and everybody was talking about it, but our goal was just to go into Heinz Field and win a football game. Throws long for Burris, and Burris has a touchdown steal. A blitz on Brady, and he's picked off. He has intercepted by Tyson and running in for the touchdown. Pattern left side of the end zone, flex for the dive, flex for the touchdown. When the Patriots came to, to Heinz Field for Halloween, it was spooky. This is turning out to this point to be a Halloween to remember here in Western Pennsylvania. Hey, Jim, everybody wants a shot at the chin. They want to be the guy that knocks them out. We had it on our mind to try to stop that 21 game winning streak, and we did. The Pittsburgh Steelers make history, ending a streak that started over a calendar year ago. Once they knocked off the Patriots, you really started to get a sense this is a team that maybe gets over the hump and goes to the Super Bowl. We are ready for round two of the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots. They met on this field back on Halloween when Pittsburgh ended the Patriots' NFL record 21-game win streak. When we had to see New England back in the playoffs, you know how you like a song and you ask the DJ to run that back? That's how we felt. They asked for us again, too. Nice and cold. Like that cold weather. It's going to hurt when I hit them. Pittsburgh was the team now. They knocked off the defending champs, and they were a hot team going into the playoffs. Now we got a situation where we're going back into Heinz Field to play a team that's very confident, that already beat us in the regular season, and that's the road we get, you know, we get to go through to get back to the Super Bowl. The revenge factor for us eternally was huge. Brady and company roll into town, looking to knock off the 15-1 and Steelers, in spite of the fact that Tom Brady had the flu. We really didn't know how sick he was because he really didn't want us to know. Like he didn't want to, he didn't want to feel like he was being a weak link or being a distraction where we were talking about that. We knew he wasn't feeling well, but there's nothing that's going to keep him from playing in that football game. Short kick, somebody better grab it. Ike Taylor does at the 25, and that will be the starting point for Ben Roethlisberger. Big Ben wasn't like an ordinary rookie that you can just come in and affect. He was built for these type of games. Roethlisberger throws too high, and he is picked off. It is picked off by Eugene Wilson. First throw, interception by seven. We got that out of the way. Cool. We good now. You want to create turnovers in the big games, and that's 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 one of the things that help you win football games. Kick is on the way, and it is good. Adam Vinatieri gives the Patriots the lead. But just because we had a turnover early doesn't mean the game is over. The good teams usually find a way to come back. Fourth down and less than a yard. The Steelers have always and traditionally been a tough team in the trenches. They're all lined, they're running game on a fourth and one play. Everybody in the world knew that Jerome Bettis was going to get the football. When you got a running back like Jerome Bettis, you want to go for it. Let's go, Busty! Bettis the tail back in the eye. Give to Bettis to the left. How disrespectful that they would think just because they got Jerome Bettis and they're the Pittsburgh Steelers that they could just hand the ball off. Stop! Stacked up. Stuck short of the first down. And the ball is loose. Ball's on the ground and the Patriots have it. We just took everything personal in that football game. And their defense set the tone on the offense. Bill Belichick, two big plays for his defense early in the first quarter. Yeah, forcing turnovers on their first two possessions. First down and Brady threatening to go long and indeed launches it for Branch. Has it at the 10 and in the end zone. Touchdown, New England. As Tom Brady often did, he got Palomalu on play action. 
in the first half, and you could see it coming a mile away. Troy Polamalu should stay in the middle. He reads Tom Brady. Oh, and Tom Brady baits him. Hey, what happened on that? We've been on a cross around the hit the deep post. When the secondary guys have a miscommunication, strike up the band. Six. That was the start of some real trouble for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Roethlisberger picked off. You can see that one coming. Oh, snap. It's Rodney Harrison. Rodney saw the play, saw the formation, and he jumped in. It is intercepted. Picked off and heading down the left sideline. Still remember how Harrison was carrying the ball the whole way down the sideline. And he is running for fun. See him running down the sideline with the ball out. And we're just cheering and we're excited. The whole thing makes me sick. He's going to walk home for a New England touchdown, and the Steelers fans are shocked and silent. At that point, we knew that uh, we had this football game. The Patriots are going back to the Super Bowl for the second year in a row. Where you go? Where you go? Tom Brady is now 8-0 and in the playoffs. Was this Brady's version of Jordan's flu game in Utah? I don't know. I don't, what am I going to celebrate, Tom Brady? The Steelers is everything to Pittsburgh. So to have high expectations that year, especially going 15-1, and one, and to come short, oh, man, it hurt. You can't get the title unless you knock the champ out. And we didn't take it. And they forgot it. For them to have to clear everybody out, and it became pretty much our home field and our stage in Heinz Field. And we accepted that AFC Championship trophy, and you know we, we, we saw the confetti come down for us, and we were celebrating there. Uh, that was pretty special. I remember walking out of there and seeing a giant box of somebody who optimistically had made t-shirts, Pittsburgh Steelers, 2004 AFC Champions selling them for a dollar a piece. One of the saddest things you could ever see.